Hi everyone, this video is about the triplane fracture, Salter Harris classification, and most importantly, this video is about the importance of discussion. So, uh, in my opinion, one of the most important way to enhance your understanding is uh, to discuss with your friends and seniors. So, uh, uh, this uh, one of my friend just sent me this uh, X-ray, and uh, I. Uh, classified this as a supination adduction injury, but which was a gross mistake. But luckily, I sent this uh, X-ray to one of my very dear friend, and he told me that what are you doing? This is a physical injury, so don't dare to divide, uh, classify it as a large Hansen classification. Uh, see uh, the importance of discussion here. Firstly, my silly mistake. My cross mistake was pick, picked up, and uh, also it gives me curiosity to um, go and look at the uh, text. So, starting with this uh, x ray, this is an x ray of 13 year old male. Uh, this is x ray of ankle showing AP and lateral view, and you can uh, see the uh, uh, this is x ray of a skeletally immature patient as the physis. Uh, the uh, the is not fused with the uh, epiphysis and metaphysis. So uh, now uh, see the uh, injury pattern. So uh, the fracture line involves the metaphysis, this physial line, and epiphysis. So how will another question is how will we classify this uh, physical injury? There are a lot of classification for the physical injury, but uh, one of the most accepted classification is Salter Harris classification. So going uh, to the Salter Harris classification, first we see what is the physis. Physis is the is the area between epiphysis and metaphysis, and the most of the growth takes place in the physis. So and if you enlarge the physis, it has a resting zone, proliferative zone, and hypertrophic zone. And this type of uh, fracture happens in the hypertrophic zone. So Salter uh, Harris classification is, is for the physial injury, and that happens in the hypertrophic zone of the physis. So coming to the Salter Harris classification, Salter Harris uh, divide uh, this. Uh, physical injury into five types. So the mnemonic is Salter only. So S4 type 1 is S and S4 slippa slippage of the epiphysis. Type 2 is A Salter S A L T and R. So 2 is A, A4 above it means the uh, physical injury uh, involving the metaphysis, the fragment of the metaphysis. And this fragment of metaphysis is known as the Thurston Holland fragment. And third is the uh, L, L4 lower, the physical injury, in, in, uh, along with the physical injury, there's an involvement of the epiphysis also. And type 4 is T, that is through. It, uh, the physical injury involves the epiphysis and metaphysis both. And type 5 is rammed. There's a, uh, the physis is crushed in this uh, type of salt air Harris classification. So coming back to the type 4 uh, salt air Harris classification, the, uh, the physical injury here involves the epiphysis and metaphysis also. So, and triplane fracture is a type of this uh, type 4 Salter Harris classification in which uh, the fracture line uh, goes through three different planes vertically across the epiphysis as we can see here vertically across the epiphysis horizontal sorry vertically uh, uh, across the epiphysis horizontal in physis and oblique across the metaphysis so, if in Salter Harris uh, type 4 injury, the fracture line goes through three planes. 
first uh, vertically uh, cross the epiphysis here you can say c and horizontal in the uh, physis and obliquely uh, obliquely across the metaphysis it is known as the triplane fracture so triplane fractures this is a variety of of type 4 solitary head is injury seen in adolescents fracture line runs in all three planes that we have uh, that we have discussed already and there is a further extension of the uh, solitary harris uh, classification also after uh, 5 it is further ex extended into 6 7 8 and 9 now we will see the these four injuries type 6 is injury to the peripheral uh, portion of the physis and resultant bony bridge so what this bony bridge will do it will uh, result into an angular deformity so this will come in a type 6 type 7 is injury to the epiphyseal plate type 8 is isolated injury to metaphysis that may hamper endochondral oss ossification and type 9 is injury to the periosteum that may uh, interfere with the membranous growth so uh, this was all about this video. Thank you.